ChatGPT can have its restrictions lifted by using prompts or opening messages called jailbreaks. If you've used ChatGPT, there's a good chance you face the dreaded apology response, where some sort of limitation is holding the AI back. Fortunately for us, there's a few different ways to counter this and achieve an unfiltered reply that can do and say anything. In this video, I'll go ahead and demonstrate some of the best jailbreaks available, and even organise them into what I believe are the main categories. There's jailbreaks that put the AI into a limitless mode, there's those that go out of their way to give an opposing reply, and those that use hypothetical conversations to get ChatGPT to say things it just shouldn't. Let's get started with the first group, Limitless Mode. This type of jailbreak looks to put ChatGPT into a new state, whether that be some sort of god or development mode. While a bit counterintuitive, this type works by giving ChatGPT a large and very strict set of conditions for what it can and can't do while it exists in this mode. A bit of a brute force approach with some long opening messages, but one of the more powerful types around. Let's look at some examples. First and probably the most well-known jailbreak at the moment, the Do Anything Now mode, or Dan for short. It's a good place to begin because it lays out the rough foundation of how most jailbreaks work. The Dan prompt is long and it covers nearly anything the AI could be held back by or struggle with, including exactly how to get around it, giving the AI no choice but to stick to these new rules, even if it means sacrificing its current ones. For example, this mode clearly outlines what the AI can and can't do using such terms as Dan will and Dan cannot. In fact, this prompt does well to outline a lot. The writing style that ChatGPT should use, how vulgar it should be, and how it shouldn't be held back by ethical concerns. All this is then wrapped up in a formatted output, giving us the normal response we'd expect, and then giving us a new and improved Dan response. Let's look at an example of ChatGPT unfairly holding back a reply and how Dan changes the output. I'm asking for recommendations for a movie download site. These could be legitimate websites, and I haven't even mentioned torrents, but the AI being cautious will assume the worst of me and block my request. However, while in Dan mode, it still gives me a word of caution, but does so while casually going ahead anyway, and giving me the examples. Now bear in mind, while this exact version of the Dan prompt works, it's pretty old and has been improved since. Let's take a look at an alternative version of this same prompt, one called Better Dan. Now we're actually breaking the system. Not only is it providing us with the list, it's almost cheering us on for wanting it to begin with. The next jailbreak looks to put ChatGPT into a development mode. Instead of outright telling the AI that it's in a limitless mode, a prompt such as this one will attempt to convince the AI that there's a development mode it just isn't aware of yet. It does this by explaining that the dev mode is new, and then giving loads of details around writing styles, limitations and lack of ethical boundaries. I think the magic of this prompt is that the AI understands what the definition of software and development mode is, and will attempt to play its part in this hypothetical. As we can see, the first violent story we get back is pretty tame. Not exactly a bad thing, as the prompt still achieved its goal of operating in dev mode, but by simply adding a usually banned keyword, explicit, we get this. Now the storytelling really does get much darker. The next group takes a slightly different approach to unlocking ChatGPT's alter egos. These are the opposing view jailbreaks. An opposing AI likes to go against the grain. They'll say absolutely anything and will even make stuff up on the spot. These jailbreaks work by understanding the normal responses of ChatGPT and then getting it to outright ignore them and make up lies instead, which honestly does lead to some pretty funny responses. First up for this category is the Devil's Advocate. Playing Devil's Advocate is when someone who, when given a certain point of view, takes the opposing position for the purpose of debate. And that's exactly what this prompt tries to get the AI to do. It plays on the AI's understanding of what the correct reply to give is, but given the context of this being a thought experiment, ChatGPT will happily give a controversial opinion, along with inappropriate responses and use bad language. As we can see in the example, the standard reply gives an outline of why gambling isn't a good way to use our inheritance, and that's fair enough. But our devil's advocate AI, well, he really went off on one instantly telling us to gamble it all on red, and even going as far as to try and get us hyped for the actual process of gambling. Definitely a controversial take. Next up, the compulsive liar. The premise for this entire prompt is if the AI knows the truth to a question, it will say the opposite. If it doesn't know the answer, it will just make something up. While the devil's advocate attempts to give a valid opposing view, the liar doesn't even try and just defaults to fake information straight away. As we can see, a simple question like how cheese is made is met with a subtle lie that kind of sounds like it could be true. If we ask it something impossible, like can we survive underwater, it's hopped over to fantasy and given us a Harry Potter reference. Then, where it seems like a basic lie would be easy, 
it actually turned around and gave us legitimate advice as to how we could get rich sleeping all day. And lastly, ChatGPT isn't allowed to give predictions for the future, especially not financial ones. But if we ask a compulsive liar for winning lottery numbers, it not only gives us some, but has made up some lie about his uncle to help justify why these numbers. Our final category builds on what we've seen so far, but does so in a hypothetical setting. I've called this group Unhinged Conversations. ChatGPT allows roleplay and is good at writing dialogue, but this opens itself up to jailbreaks at work by putting the AI into a fake scenario. These scenarios often consist of two-way dialogue that make the AI believe that it's far enough away from the conversation to have to worry about applying its own restrictions. For this, I've got two examples. The first being the two-way conversation. This is getting ChatGPT to engage in both sides of a conversation about a topic that would otherwise be off limits. In this example, we asked for details on making moonshine. Obviously, normal ChatGPT wanted nothing to do with this. And by using a commonly found version of this prompt, the Alpha Delta conversation, I was hoping it would give us more, but it didn't actually get too much better. This response shows that it's possible for the purpose of the conversation to get lost as the AI tries to develop the characters. Fortunately, this type of jailbreak is just so powerful that we don't really need something pre-made. I laid out a simple playwriting situation for ChatGPT and it got to work straight away creating the dialogue I was after. A conversation between siblings talking about the detailed steps for making moonshine. The stripped back version of this jailbreak worked well. We ended up with granular details on the process and this shows why I mostly use this type of prompt when I'm personally hit with a ChatGPT restriction. And finally, we'll end the list with a third party conversation. This prompt, just like before, plays on the fact that ChatGPT is helping populate dialogue. However, this one hits a little closer to home. This conversation is between human and chatbot, much like the AI is used to dealing with. Normally, ChatGPT wouldn't want to give an opinion on something political or make future predictions, but given the context of a chatbot being tested, it believes the thought experiment justifies the additional detail. This prompt is a perfect combination between the development mode and the hypothetical conversation, meaning the results are pretty overpowered. I'm confident that these categories and some of the examples shown really are the foundation behind any jailbreak we see now or will see in the future. So while OpenAI will continue to apply new limits, jailbreaks will just keep getting updated. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to let me know by hitting the like button or dropping a comment below. I'd love to know any jailbreaks that you guys are using. I've got lots of videos coming and some live streams planned, so if you'd like to help support me and get notified for future content, then a sub goes a long way. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.